Hello and welcome to a new episode of Airport CEO here on Bongo Planes. Last episode, we really truly did struggle with our airport. We had issues with signing airlines. We had uh, multiple crashes of the game. But we will leave all that behind us and today just focus on iPod and try to get on with the construction project we have here. So that and much more right after the drop. As always, before we get too far into today's episode, if you should end up enjoying this video, then don't forget to leave a like. That really does help out the series. And of course, if you are new around here, why not hit subscribe? All right, so we have um, still quite a few things we want to do here at the airport, even though we are, of course, slowly getting towards the end of this season. But we still have plenty of areas here in the terminal that are a little bit of dead space and we really want to fix that up and uh, really take um really use all the space we have to our advantage because even though it is pretty much the best running airport i've ever built um when it comes to how for example turnarounds work and how much we can stack our arrivals i don't think i've ever had an airport that works as well as this one but there are still things i think we can really improve on and where we can help ourselves out and part of that is, of course, also trying to um, improve the airport, not just from an operational point of view, but also from the ratings point of view, trying to offer the best possible experience for the passengers. Um, now, I don't very often check the ratings we have in the game, um, but overall, it actually does look rather positive. Most of it is in the greens. We have a few in the yellows. Um, we have maybe one in the reds, but it, overall, it is really, really... It should actually be rather well, working well, be rather good. Um, but there are, of course, things we can still improve on. Um, so, for example, we want to finish up the shopping center section of our airport. We have, of course, reduced the size of that quite a lot in the last episode, um, just because I think these the shops will honestly struggle to keep open um, because even though we are really running the airport at pretty much max capacity at the moment getting in as many planes as possible um, passengers don't seem to be super interested in these shops i'm not quite sure why um, i mean we do see them going occasionally but these shops um, that we already have open in this area clearly have been struggling um, so opening more in that area won't of course help it, that's why we've reduced the size, but we still want to have at least this layout because that's what we were working on. Alright, so while we're doing all that, we will also keep an eye on the offers that are coming in, and of course the offers that are coming in are related to the ratings of these offers, and these ratings of offers we're getting are then related to the rating of the airport, um, that's absolutely clear. Um, we we do seem to do okay i mean we don't get we don't seem to get five star offers but we do get four star offers um and of course it's one thing that i haven't really looked very much on is the mods that i have installed uh, what kind of ratings they have um so it could very well be that for example lufthansa that the mod that i had installed um is a five star offer and that's why we don't get it um although i i do kind of struggle with that a little bit because in the previous episode we did get lufthansa pretty much right away and i don't think that was a five star offer but okay anyway uh, we will keep an eye on that and just uh see what comes in reject all the vanilla games and um then try to sign whatever comes in like for example here scandinavian airlines we'll take that in um because i think that could be a nice addition to uh, our airport and then yeah throughout the episode just keep an eye on that all right so one thing we were working on in the last episode and which was kind of the thing that caused us all the trouble of the game constantly um, crashing was building the uh, lounges here or where we were trying to basically do a little bit of a new design um, new design i don't know a new um, layout let's call it that a new layout for the lounges where we're basically adding two lounges inside one room um, and then have a shared entrance that didn't quite work then we added two information desks and stuff like that but was, there were still some issues and the game then broke when i was using the copy paste tool now i know there was a, a comment suggesting that it could have something to do with the mods that the, of course mods can destabilize the game um, but I really truly believe that this had nothing to do with the mods because what we're working on here is simply a core part of the game. It has nothing to do with mods. Um, 
and as I say, the game crashed when I was using the copy paste tool. But I actually didn't quite crash when using it, but it kind of bogged out that I suddenly I could I could use the menus, I could select objects, but I couldn't place anything, I couldn't click anything in um, in our game for whatever reason. If, if I then saved the game, which I could still do, and then kind of try to reload the game, that's when the game crashed. So I really do believe that it had nothing to do with with mods. Um, but we had other issues, and that was that the passengers couldn't really enter for whatever reason and it took me a while to figure it out um, what it was you can see I added a wall here to really separate the two rooms which I later then figured out well it was necessary and the reason why um, the passengers couldn't enter was because for some reason or somehow we managed to remove some of the zoning um, so they were just stuck there um, which I noticed at that moment um, where I then started adding the zones and as soon as um, I managed to do that passengers could enter and leave again um, So yeah, that was actually the main reason why passengers couldn't enter the lounges um, And then of course the reason for the game breaking was that the copy paste tool Sometimes kind of triggers something that it then just stops working um, Yeah but we did kind of figure it out at the end, and I think that's the most important thing. All right, so let's quickly also go through um, the offers here. We take on Brussels Airlines and we reject all the vanilla game offers just to trying to keep the game loading in new offers. The vanilla game offers will pop up again. <laughs> we just can't get rid of them, but um, yeah. And tap, maybe not. Why not tap? Uh, tap Express would have been lovely, but unfortunately in that mod we only get um atr which just can't fly from portugal all the way to england that's too far um but well at least not the standard versions of the aircraft anyways um and we also need a little bit of um staff we need to improve there because we um we do kind of lag a little bit in some areas so let's fix that um so now that we have kind of figured out or worked out that the layout for the split lounges can work um, let's see if we can't um, replicate that here as well. Um, I guess we will give one to the Brussels Airlines um, that we just signed, and the other one could then become a Lufthansa lounge if we ever manage to sign Lufthansa. But after recording this uh, gameplay, I actually started looking again at my mods. I deinstalled some mods, I reinstalled some mods, I added some new mods, I added a new Lufthansa mod, so hopefully by the next episode, I hope that it will then enter, uh, we'll be uh, getting into the game and then we can get an offer, but we will see. I've really tried everything I, I, I can do now. Um, as I say, I've, I've reinstalled mods, I have removed mods, I have entered or added new mods. So if it doesn't work now, then it just doesn't work and we will just have to live with it. We have plenty of airlines at the airport anyways, and um, the airport will still be a lovely airport even though Lufthansa won't be flying to it if we don't if we don't get them in the next episode all right so in the meantime i continued working here on the two lounges um they are kind of open inside towards each other i don't think passengers will cross these areas but they can if they want to um and i guess it will be interesting to see um how the game or how the passengers kind of deal with this <laughs> and to see yeah, basically see how the game deals with this um, the lounge works that's that's for sure um, and yeah we're trying to build this without using the copy paste tool um, or at least without using it from the other lounge that seems to be cursed um, <laughs> it's it's really annoying because it's really tempting to use the copy paste tool more than I am doing here um, which would also speed up the process quite a lot um, but yeah after after last episode's disaster with it I, I don't really trust the tool anymore which is quite a shame and I do hope that the developers are looking into that and hopefully um, we'll be fixing it at some point all right but we have plenty of other things that we still want to tackle in today's episode and as I mentioned in the beginning of the video I think this is pretty much the best running airport I've ever had uh, from an operational stand at least um, but I think we can still improve it a little bit and one thing I realized was that throughout the uh, long terminal arm we have here 
Um, we have pretty much everything that the passengers need, but we kind of have neglected our workers, especially um, our uh, passenger service agents, because when they have done their job at the uh, boarding desk, they have quite a far way uh, to walk to get to a staff room, which seems quite unnecessary and it could slow down operations. So trying to counteract that, um, we'll be adding a few small staff rooms um, across this part of the airport um, just to see maybe this can uh, help us out here. I don't know if it's really necessary, um, but it can't hurt. And we do have a little bit of space in these waiting areas um, where we can squeeze uh, those staff rooms in. Now, then the a problem was that my laziness overtook me and I thought, hey, now I've built one lovely staff room. Um, we could just copy paste them. And <laughs> I know I just talked uh, like a minute ago about not using the copy paste tool because I don't really trust it. Um, but I guess my memory is um, not that good because I kind of forgot. And I thought, hey, I've built this lovely room. Let's copy paste it which I did right here. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Going over here. Hey, we have a lovely staff room. Let's paste it. And nothing happens. And this is exactly the thing I was struggling with the last time. I didn't quite understand what's, what happened at the moment there because I was, I don't know, I guess I had forgotten <laughs> what happened last time. Um, so I was thinking, wait a minute, why didn't it copy it in? Uh, is something missing? Something... Uh, did I forget to add the room or something? The zone? I don't think so. So let's copy it again. Da 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 da! Lovely little um, staff room here. Let's take it over here and just place it in here. And nothing happens. <laughs> And uh, this is basically what then you can you can still select. This is the confusing part about it. You can still select. See now I try to place a door and I can select the door or at least it looks like it, but I can't place it. It's very, very strange. So at that point I got frustrated because I knew that, okay, the only thing I can do now is basically save the game and then reload the game. And while doing that, it will crash. But before I do that, let's just take another look at the offers that get uh, that have been made, because obviously this will reload or reset as soon as I start up the game again. Um, so again, we go through the process like before, um, trying to avoid any of these vanilla game offers and trying to see if there should have been anything else of interest. Um, but it doesn't look like it. Just rejecting a few more contract offers here. Um, so again, here I was looking for anything, if there had anything else loaded in, because I knew at the moment uh, I have saved the game and then reload the game, the game will crash. Uh, luckily, we don't lose anything. So this saving the game, that does, that does work. Uh, so that's really awesome, because then you don't lose progress. Um, but yeah, anyway, we didn't really find anything here. So I will get back to you as soon as I have rebooted the game. So I guess what we learned from all of this is that manual labor is the way to go and don't be lazy. Uh, so don't use the copy paste tool. I certainly need to remember that. All right, so then after we had rebooted the game, uh, of course, the first thing I would like to see is what offers have we got? What has already loaded in? Not that much. So let's just get going. So the next thing I wanted to deal with here was that we still have three stands that we haven't opened, which I think we should change. We should get them open so that we have a little bit more capacity here at the airport for the airlines that we have already signed and the airlines we will, we will be signing in the future. Um, for that, of course, we need a little bit more GSE. So we're just getting uh, that sorted out. But of course, there are also a few other things um, because with the opening of the last few stands we have here at the airport, um, I also kind of, um, well, remembered, well, I mean, right at the beginning of this season, we we built the, um, the uh, waste disposal and we built the catering uh, building, but we haven't used that yet. We 
actually kind of forgot to activate that, so of course that's something we need to change. So while the whole waste and garbage disposal thing can run automatically if we turn it on in the operations panel, of course we need to sign a contract for the catering. Um, so obviously we needed to deal with that straight away um, so we could get that going. And of course then the next thing was of course to go into the operations panel and make sure that we activated those things. Um, unbelievable <laughs> we've been running for 10 episodes and i had kind of forgotten that we hadn't finished this process but now we can offer the full service to all islands this should definitely also help us out with ratings perhaps that can be a stepping stone towards getting these offers that we uh, so very much would like to have Right, since we had sorted that out, now of course we wanted to sort out the stands. I had a little issue with the first stand which was annoying because I had kind of activated the stand um, before I had connected it to um, a baggage bay. And as soon as it's activated because we had the auto planner on, as soon as that is activated, it's of course then immediately used by the game. And when the stand is activated, you then can't connect it to a baggage bay, which is stupid. I don't understand if it hasn't been connected to a baggage bay before, why you then couldn't um, connect it to a baggage bay. I don't understand the logic behind that. I can maybe understand that you couldn't change the baggage bay, but I think this is a stupid game mechanic. And honestly speaking, I think that should be changed. But anyways, we sorted it out in the end so we could activate that stand and have it connected to a baggage bay so that we could get aircraft in at these three the last medium stands here at the airport. All right, so there were just a few more things I wanted to do before ending today's episode. And the first thing was just sorting out the contracts for the lovely shops that we constructed here earlier in this episode. And then we also had uh, one area that we had selected for a, a cafe that we hadn't constructed yet. Um, so I just took a little bit of time uh, working on that. Um, but with that, we are actually also getting close, not just to the end of this episode, but we are actually also getting close to the end of this season. Um, I would imagine that we, I mean, we do still have a few things we want to work out, and, and I would imagine that's uh, going to happen in the next episode. And then I could imagine that the episode after that would be an airport tour, which is how we normally end up our, um, our seasons. But um, I don't want to uh, <laughs> fully confirm that yet um, because let's see how the next episode goes and see how far we get with that. Um, but we are getting towards the end of the season, that is for sure. Uh, the last thing then in today's episode was quickly sorting through the offers that came in, but there wasn't really anything of interest there. Um, so let's see how that goes in the next episode. Now with that, we have really reached the end of today's episode and I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have so, then feel free to leave a like. That would very much help out the series. And of course, if you are new around here, why not hit subscribe? And as always, if you have any tips, tricks or suggestions, anything that can help out me or the community, then feel free to leave it down in the comment section below. I do genuinely read all the comments and try to respond to as many as possible. With that, thank you once again for having watched today's video and I hope you will have a lovely time. See you next time. I'm checking out and bye.